attention. Why do you do this? Mister? Ah, holy hell! Hello, officer. Hello, mister. Do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I... uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. It's my people before you are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his... No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The Counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah.
We gonna talk about what you done to my wife! Come on! What you need to wipe up you with? You're a dead man! Morning. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Okay, boy? Hey, boy. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter. In the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. 
What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery. Savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, a lot of leaving love aside. I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John. You take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. I said you're with John. Those two, stay out of sight. You got a shot on them? Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you don't like naked women. You taking them or me? It's like someone's looking at you when they're not. I'll get rid of them. Bring it up with Senor Bro. All right, sure it's fine. <laughs> Take that damn door in! Quick, before we lose Bronte!
Arrivederci! Coming down the stairs! Ah! Oh, son of a bitch got me! Lenny, keep that door open! Damn. Let's check upstairs! Let's go down here! Come on, Bronte! Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah. Let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Let's go, Arthur. Like I said, you carry him. We taking him to Dutch then?
fake Dodge wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bontang. Him in the front. Bill, you help. Oh, you got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? Uh, so uh, filth! has got to be disposed oh, of! Oh, Our friends of oh, the are gonna come and rescue you, you uh, repulsive uh, little maggot! Uh, oh, uh, uh, call them now! You call them! Your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him.
Morning. You all right? Yeah. That was quite a mess to clean up. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Now I hear you. Sadie. This should be Adam's some real ahead. good eating. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. How are you? How's things? So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. Yep, that's how it goes. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Miss Gaskin. Hey there. Welcome back. Hmm. How do you do, sir? I thought you were sweating How's a little. Book? Not good at all.
Here you go. Some tenderfoot drew his iron on, shot the damn dirt, and ran. <laughs> oh, this country going Mister? Morning, friend. Hey, friend. Morning. Hey, apologies. Yeah, what do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. We're waiting for you, mister. Fire away. Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Now is 
as good a time as any. Go for it. Please, put us out of our misery. There goes nothing to fear at all. Shoot mine. Yes. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I'm excellent. Fine shooting. Oh, now my bravo! <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Mm. Why? You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. 
Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Good work, boy. Time to go, boy. Must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I know. Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice boy as this. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. 
Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. 